be very happy to secure the future for a couple more years. Yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful for the opportunity. I just couldn't even jump quick enough at the opportunity when management and head of football come forward. It's a dream come true to continue with a club that I, I just love. I love the boys and yeah, so good, so exciting. So it sounds like it was a pretty quick negotiation then. Yeah, it's lightning quick. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I sign? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just give me the pen. Um, uh, mate, you, you're coming into this as, as the number one ruckman now in the club. Yeah. The steps. yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity, but I think it's an opportunity that Henry, Archie and myself have got to really work hard in this um, pre-season period and get to work. There's such good ruckman out in the competition now that we've got to bind together now and really work on, on our craft and be really competitive this year. You said when we last spoke to you um, last year, talking about Steph, and, and you know you wish you'd be half as good as him, and how much he's taught you. That sort of now falls on you to be the the senior man and pass that on. Yeah, I'm very grateful for Steph. What he he gave to me the other opportunity when you come into a system and have a ruckman like that to look up to, uh, his first class, and hopefully that some of those tips and tricks that he's gave me, and just uh, trying to copy and paste his professionalism, that I can sort of try and continue that path and try and learn from him. Does it put a bit of pressure on you that the club's shown so much faith in you that they've let a guy like Steph go who's a, a really experienced campaigner? Uh, there's no pressure. I think what's so good about our club, especially what's led from Fags at the top, is that we just like, continually hunt improvement from the top down and, and Fags leads by example himself. So as long as I keep coming in every day trying to improve, them, uh, I think the pressure will take care of itself. Have you noticed his absence um, from the club? He was such a, I guess he had such a veteran presence around the place. What's it been like with that, Steph? Yeah, obviously he was a great mentor for mine, so it's different coming in and different in our mats him as well, not butting elbows with him every second week. And um, But I suppose that, that's a part of the footy now, and being in the system for four or five years, he sort of it sits uncomfortable that you sort of see these guys, they're really good friends, come and go, but um, yeah, I suppose it's some part of footy that we just couldn't get, get used to. So um, mild-mannered and um, gracious, do you, do you have to, do you think with being the number one now, do you kind of have to get a bit more mongrel in you and, and have a crack at your teammates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think that is definitely part of the role. I think you've got to put a mask on for the two and a half hours you go out and play and, and be that sort of aggression and um, play your role and play big. Play, we're, we're, I'm lucky enough to have the size, so I sort of just got to play big and look after my mates on the floor like Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. uh, mate, with Joe coming to the club, I mean, that, that role of you going down front, you were the, the big target down there. Does, does that change or will that change this year? Do you, do you spend... We spend more time in the middle, or we still see some time up front. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, first of all, I'm so excited to have Joe. Yeah, what a presence he is on the field. Um, such a big frame. I, I couldn't even believe how big he was to begin with when he first rocked up. Um, but I suppose that's the exciting period of this sort of period in January to Feb, where Fags and the coaches get to experiment with all these different looks. We've got so many big boys that can mark the ball out in front. Um, so we've just been playing around. And what that makeup looks like is sort of what we get to find out over the next sort of four or five weeks of match simulation and training. So have you spent most of the time in the middle or have you spent some time down the front? Yeah, probably 50-50, I'd yeah. suggest, yeah. Just, again, just playing numerous roles and being able to compete. And I've got, as I said before, I've got a simple role, just compete, bring the ball to the ground and then let the little fellas get to work. <laughs> you don't see too many teams that have guys of your height, Oscar, that's no, right, your height, uh, Joe um, and Eric being able to match up. It, it must create some match-up nightmares for opposition defences when all three of you can go forward and kick goals. Yeah, that's the thing I love about our list. I think we've got so many big boys on our list that can compete really well in the air but and on the floor. And I think that's what can become a really good competitive advantage. The boys can get after on the floor as well. And we're no longer liabilities or dinosaurs just on the floor. We love, we love to compete and we love to get after it on the ground.